Will this strategy make you profitable in 2024? Without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name's David and welcome back to my channel where I go through profitable trading strategies. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a couple of my favorite indicators mixed together on a lower time frame to try and hopefully build a scalping strategy. We're gonna be using the Trendelew because it's been one of the most hyped and used indicators from my community. It is extremely profitable by itself without any confluence. So today, we're gonna to add some more confluence to try and make it even more profitable. Before I go any further, guys, I bet you can't Yes, the indicator that I'm going to be adding to make this one even better. Stick it down in the comments below and don't forget I give away 100 USDT. While you're there, if you're enjoying the videos, if you don't mind giving it a good old like, it helps to grow the community. It's very much appreciated. We're growing about 3,000 new users every day, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you to everybody. You can also subscribe. I do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right, enough plugging. Let's get over to my screen. Let's have a look at the indicators and how we're going to to build a trading strategy. Okay, here we are on my website. Very quickly, just want to show you how well these indicators and this strategy is performing and why I'm going to be improving this one today. So if we click on the bots icon over here, we get this page here where we can actually see transparently how all of the trading strategies are performing on live markets. So as you can see here, we're going to be looking for the trend O and as you can see over the past couple of days, they have actually been actually rocketing these strategies. Here we are on Rune on the two hour, made 18% in the last seven days. Keep going down, Matic with 9%. Another one here on AVAX. We have another one here on BTC on 9%, 73% over the 90 day period. It's absolutely killing the market and is trying to beat for our first, first place. Currently, the dead zone is still the winner and is the most profitable trading strategy, but the trend LU indicator is certainly catching up. So, if we click on one of the trend who like this one here, we can open a chart and see it, how it's actually performing on real time data. This one was incubated all the way back in January. So in January, we we're 2%. February, uh, we made 32%. March was 20%. April's not performing extremely well yet. But we can also click on this button here to be able to see how it is performing in trading view. This trading strategy is up 6,000%, which is absolutely amazing. But I feel that we can still improve it by using an indicator that we used most recently. I added this new indicator to the dead zone and that is performing extremely well. Here it is, it's the stiff zone. It is the stiffness indicator, which has become rapidly one of my favorite indicators for volatility and to filter out bad trades. Look at this one, it's almost an 80% win rate. We only have 34 trades, but it is only on the small amount of data. But when you do the deep back test all the way to back to 2019, as you can see, we still have a 63% win rate and look at that equity curve, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be taking the Trend Ilyu indicator and building a trading strategy with those. Okay, here I am on BTC USDT on a clean chart. On the 30 minute time frame, we're gonna be building a scalping strategy on the 30 minute time frame. Let's start by in adding the indicators. We're gonna start by adding the trend dilly do, which is this one here. And the trend dilly looks a bit like a RSI with Bollinger Bands. What we do is when a price breaks below a Bollinger Band here, we're actually looking for shorts, which as you can see is an absolutely perfect entry just here. And then when the price breaks above the upper Bollinger Band here, we're looking for a long, another great entry. But for this to be an absolutely perfect trading strategy, we need to add things that like trend direction, and also another couple of indicators to filter out bad trades. So the first one we're gonna be adding is the T3, my favorite trend direction indicator, which is this one here. Now guys, you can find all of these indicators on my website just by going over to david.tech indicators, or you can go to the website and click on three indicators up the top here. Then if we're gonna be setting our T3 to 100 as its length, and that's gonna give us trend direction. When the T3 is green and we're trending above the T3, we're looking for longs like this one here. And when it's trending below and we are looking for shorts, we can actually take our entries just over here. But as you can see, it is pretty good at detecting trends. And I still feel it's one of the best indicators for trend following strategies. So the next indicator we're gonna be adding is the ADX. 
The ADX Plus MA you can find on David Tick as well. The ADX is absolutely brilliant at filtering out bad trades. We're also going to be adding another volatility indicator in a minute. But what we need is for this red line in the ADX to be above the blue line. And that means we can take our entries. So this would have been an absolutely perfect entry confirmed also by the ADX here. It doesn't matter whether it's long or short, we just want for the ADX to be trending above the blue line. So the red line is the ADX and the blue line is just an MA giving us the average movements. And our final indicator that we're gonna be adding today is going to be the stiffness indicator by David Tech, this one just here. We're gonna go into the cog over here and we're gonna make it a little bit less strict. We're gonna be setting our line to 50, the threshold here. And for us to confirm our entries, we just want the yellow line, which is the stiffness line, to be above the threshold of 50 uh, for us to take our entries. So let's have a look at this long entry, which we have already marked on our charts just here. As you can see, we are trending above the T3, so we can take any long opportunities that show up to us. We have the Trend Helio crossing over into the green, so we have our first entry marked here. ADX is confirming because we are trending above the blue line, and the stiffness index, which is the yellow line, is above the red line threshold, so we can take our first entry just here on the candle after perfect okay so our strategy has all of the rules in place we have our trend direction which is called the baseline the t3 we have confirmation indicators which is the trend dilu indicator and we're going to be using the stiffness index and the adx for volatility okay as good traders we still need to know where we're going to be taking profits and setting our stop loss stop loss to do that we're going to be adding the atr bands so we're going to click indicators again and we're going to press ATR bands. We're going to be using the ATR bands by David Tech just here. That's going to give us this red and green line, which is going to help us to set our stop loss. We're going to change the stop loss to three, which give us a little bit more wiggle room on crypto. Okay, we're going to set our stop loss to the green band and we're going to add our risk to reward to two. Boom, that was a wonderful win. Let's have a look at a short. Okay, I found this entry here. Obviously, guys, as always, I am cherry picking to find entries just to show you how this works. We have the T3 trending red, as you can see just here. We have our Trendilio passing over to red as well. And we have our ADX, which is trending above the blue line. And our final indicator, the stiffness index, is above the threshold of 50. Okay, so we're gonna set a short just here on this candle here. We're gonna set our stop loss to the ATR bands and we're gonna be looking for a risk to reward of two. Boom, there we go, another win of 2.9%. Absolutely brilliant. As you can see, it seems to be very, very good at sniping those entries. Right, I'm gonna go away and now code this to see how well it performs on BTC USDT. Hopefully we're gonna find another great profitable trading strategy and I'll be able to forward test it on David Tech. Right, let's get straight to it. Come on, Dave. Again, he's got to call a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. Come on, David, show us, show us what you got. Guys, before I go any further, I just want to let you know that you can actually add all of these trading strategies to your trading view or automatically trade them with bots on my website. All of the links are down in the description where you can sign up today. Right, let's get over and have a look at these backtesting results. Okay, guys, here we are back on the trading view chart. Still on 30 minutes, BTC USDT. Let's reveal those results. Drum roll, please. Boom! As you can see, the equity curve on the really small amount of data here isn't looking absolutely fantastic. Let's put it on the full amount of data. Let's first of all have a look at these tables here. As you can see, we almost have a 60% win rate, which is absolutely amazing. We are on single take profit just here. We have max wins in a row of seven, max losses in a row of four. We did have a total number of 60 wins and a total number of losses, 41. When I go back over to the deep back testing results, let's pull those up here. As you can see, the equity curve looks absolutely amazing. We have 3,191% net profit, going all the way back to 2020. Uh, we have 295 closed trades and still almost a 60% win rate. Profit factor is 1.613 and we have a max drawdown of 26%. 
in comparison to the buy and hold where we would have if you would have purchased bitcoin all the way back here you would actually have only taken 804 percent but 804 percent is still very very good but i'd still prefer what 3191 obviously guys i am using leverage here we are using high leverage of 20 eggs today. Let's take compounding off to see how well that performs. Still looking absolutely amazing. The equity curve looks even better. We would have only got 386%. And if you set leverage to a little bit lower at 10x leverage, we would have had 127% using 10% of our equity. And the max drawdown is only 7.9%, which is absolutely amazing. Look at all those green mumps, guys. That looks absolutely amazing as a setup. Now, if I add a compound, back again with 10x leverage and compounding adding on you would be at 534 percent the equity curve looks absolutely amazing still a couple of extra red bumps in there but with only a 13 percent net max drawdown okay i think i've been through all the possible setups there i will be putting this trading strategy onto the david tech website and obviously uploading the settings to the discord so everybody can play around with it and hopefully the leap back testers will find even better results than i did thank you very much much for joining me again today don't forget you can also win 100 usdt by commenting down in below thank you for being such a wonderful community i look forward to seeing you on wednesday we're also doing a live stream on tuesday where i go through all of the best settings for the week that we found normally around 20 to 30 settings that we found for all of these trading strategies without further ado guys trade like a boss and i'll see you on wednesday bye 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 come on david once again, he's gone to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. RSI and MACD.